Hey folks, today we are going to set up the project for our games, our text adventure games. These will be due December 14th because on December 15th we have our game night here at Merit. And if you can make it, that would be cool. It's at 6 o'clock. Um, Mr. Wright's going to be showing off his board games. Uh, but anyway, let's get into it. We're going to be using an IDE called REPL.IT. R-E-P-L.IT is the name of the web address. Um, and the reason is it has a little more functionality than things that we've used in the past. Um, and the final resting place for your um, game will be on our class website, meritacademy.tech, where you can embed your project in here and uh, you can run your game like so. So anyway, um, go ahead and create an account, sign up with your Google account once you have um, it'll take you to this home page and then you'll click create a REPL is the plus button. We're going to do Python, of course. It's Python 3 by default, which is nice. Um, call it RPG game, or if your game has a name, then name it something else uh, similar. Um, and then go ahead and create the REPL project. And you'll notice that we have a main.py file. You don't have to type this line in. Um, it's just to show you how the program runs. You know, you put your code here, and then you run it here. And because this project's going to be a little bigger than ones we've done in the past, um, we're actually going to create a couple files. Um, I had a file in my game that I called Gameplay, which is going to contain functions related to the gameplay, of course. Um, you might have a file that contains like a welcome screen that's just like printing out a whole bunch of text. Um, it's a way to make, make your code a little more organized, especially since it'll probably eclipse 100, maybe 200 lines of code. Um, so here's an example. Let's say I have, you know, a function here um, where my player can attack or something. And it'll just say print attack. In my main Python file, I can import that import that function by saying from gameplay. It's the name of the file. You don't need to include the file extension here. But when you make the file, make sure to do .py. It's a Python file. Import attack. And then I can run that function in here. And then it will run. So this is a way to, it's another layer of abstraction, um, you know, put, organize your code in functions and then in files and then um, import things when you need them. All right, um, to be a little more specific here uh, about what the attack thing does, I'm going to add what's called a doc string. And a doc string is a multi-line string. Remember, multi-line strings have triple quotes. You can do single or double quotes, it doesn't matter. Um, and then... Um, this is just going to say what the function does. It's a comment, um, and it can be a little bit longer, a little bit more detailed. Um, say this function allows the player to attack. Okay, pretty cool. So, uh, of course, this isn't going to print out or anything. It's just a, it's just a doc string. Acts like a comment. Um, and uh, what we're going to do is generate some documentation um, using a Python library called pdoc. So um, you're going to go to packages over here. It's the, it's the um, cube looking thing. Type in pdoc3 and then click on it. And then we're going to add this package to our project. Um, it's going to allow us to take our doc string and generate a markdown file um, about what our code's doing, <sighs> which will make it super easy to read. Um, you might include also a readme.md in your project. Markdown is a language that renders similar to HTML, so this is an H1 or a title uh, or a largest heading um, if you do one hashtag. So you can say, my game, this story of my game, um, you must attack. 
if you hit preview, you can see that it'll format. So the more hashtags you do, the more um, smaller, great English right there, the title gets. And then if you want to include some code in your markdown file, you can do like this. You do the back tick mark, which is right next to the one on the keyboard. Um, it has the tilde as the other option there. Um, and you can say uh, print example it'll format it. Let's see if we do, there we go, you have to do three back ticks. And then it will format it like Python code. Pretty slick, eh? If you want to do it inline, if you want to do a code example like inline, you can do two back ticks and then in between um, say whatever your thing is. It won't format it all fancy, but you could provide a little code example that way. All right, so uh, over here in main.py, we're going to add a little bit of code for generating documentation. Um, so here we go. We've got from pdoc import text. F equals open, and then this is the file, the markdown file that we're going to generate. And then W means we're going to write to it. And then we're going to write everything in the gameplay file. And then we're going to close the file um, so that there's no like memory leaks or anything. Um, so we'll just pause this while we're uh, waiting for PDOC to finish installing. Okay, it's done installing. Let's go ahead and run our program. So you can see that we've generated a gameplay markdown file. And it tells us, hey, this is the one of the functions we have, and this is what the function does. So whatever you put in the doc string is going to get put in the markdown file. Isn't that slick? Just auto generates documentation for us. So your project um, is going to be broken up into files and functions. That's part of your grade. And then um, I want you to generate documentation for at least five functions. Um, you should probably have at least five functions in your project. If you don't, then you can break it down a little bit more. Um, and then I want you to do a readme that just has some details about what the story is in your game. So you're going to have at least a readme markdown file and then at least one markdown file with the functions that are in there. And then when you're done generating documentation, go ahead and remove the documentation generator code and the package from your project uh, because then people can just run your game without it having to install um, PDOC in the background. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Uh, any questions, let me know. Um, again, December 14th, games due, and that's it. <sighs>